football is the most popular women's sport in the UK, with over 2.9 million females taking part. A recent report from Kick It Out revealed that sexism was the third most common form of discrimination reports they received last year. Sean Macy was in the middle of controversy in 2011 after Richard Keyes and Andy Gray were fired after making sexist comments about her. So what is it like being a female referee in football? We spoke to Tia Walby, a Kentafe referee who was subject to violent abuse when she was 16 years old. I, have, I had quite a lot of experience um, with sexism within the sport. But then there was one occasion where I was doing an under-18s game. I was running the line and um, halfway through the game, three spectators turned up and sat directly behind me. And for the whole 45 minutes, they were shouting at me. Um, it started out just like making comments about my body and the way I looked. And then it became sexual. They were saying what they were going to do to me after the game, how basically describing how they were going to rape me. Unfortunately, cases like tears are all too common in women's football. Kick it Out recently reported that one in five reports of discrimination are gender-based, meaning that as numbers in women's football progress, so does sexism. So what are the local governing bodies doing to combat sexism and kick it out of the game? I headed to the Kent FA to speak to Natalie Curtis to find out what sort of initiatives they have to tackle sexism in football. We work a lot with women in sport, the FA, Kick It Out, um, to run lots of different initiatives. So probably in the women and girls game in Kent, it's a really strong position. Um, we have uh, a female referee support group. We have Eighth Wonder, which is our young female leaders program. Uh, we have Football F Futures, so young girls who are volunteering, whether that be coaching, administration, uh, or marketing can get hours back and then it gets money off courses and it's kind of translated through at the end. 